Um, do you have it on, Mr. Smith? Yep, I have it on. Okay, I just put great. it on. So, scholars, okay. as a reminder, if you don't have the packet, you're going to have be opened up to a new blank sheet of paper, and you're going to be able to follow along in the lesson with the text on the screen, and you'll be able to do your work um, on your notebook paper. Okay, um, so make sure that you are on a notebook piece of paper. Um, all right, so show me you're ready by sitting up nice and tall wherever you are. Sitting up nice and tall wherever you are, that your eyes are on the screen, and you are ready to go in 10. Janelle, please wait. Eight. Next time when we go out into the breakout rooms, that's the time to quickly go to the bathroom, okay? Mr. Seven, Smith's gonna get started with his lesson right now. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All Nathaniel, right, dollars. Fill body, please. All right, today we are going to be reading a text together and we are going to be working on an extended response. Uh, and extended response is where we did a lot of work right before school closed. Um, and so we're gonna kind of pick up from there and do some more practice. Um, and we're gonna be walking through the different stages of the writing process when writing extended responses. Um, okay, so first let's take a look at our text for today. Can everybody scan this text and do your pre-reading? You can do it on your packet if you have it or your blank sheet of paper. Lucas, can we wait to eat until after Mr. Smith's lesson is done? We're gonna break out for lunch after that. Take like one big bite and then let's get started, okay buddy? Thank Viviani, you. Viviani, if you don't have the packet, then just be flexible and get out a blank piece of paper. Thank All you. right, can someone tell me what type of text is this and how they know? Um, I'm going to Eva. Eva, I'm unmuting you, go. Um, this text is written because because um this is because because it has um because it has characters the man wife son and grandfather yeah awesome so this is fiction so i like how you, you used your story elements to figure out that it was fiction so everybody should have had written the fiction at the top and what are our thinking jobs when we're reading fiction texts Mia, oh, never mind. There she went. Um, sorry, Mr. Smith. Talia, one second. Talia, unmute. Go. Um, the story elements of fiction is who are the characters, what is the problem, what is the solution they want to learn. Yeah, so those are our thinking frames. Awesome. Um, let's go ahead and start reading. Everybody track the screen if you don't have the text. The old man and his grandson. Time, now, place, a certain man's house. We have the characters, the man, his wife, their son, little Hans, and the grandfather. Let's get started. Um, the man, his wife, little Hans, and the grandfather sit at the table eating the noon meal. Remember that those in a play are uh, the stage directions. It's telling you what the characters are actually doing on the stage. Be careful, father. You are spilling the soup on your coat. Trying to tremble his trembling hand. Yes, yes, I'll be careful. Grandfather, you have spilled the soup on my clean tablecloth. Dear me, dear me. Here, father, is your plate of meat. The old man takes the plate but lets it fall. There now, just see what you have done. My hand shook, so I'm so sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. That won't mend the plate, nor buy a new one. He should eat from the wooden dishes. Let him have that one for his meat. The grandfather sighs sadly. The wife gets a wooden dish and fills it with meat. Little Hans leaves the table and plays with his blocks on the floor. Here's one that you can't break. Go now and sit in the corner behind the oven. You shall eat there hereafter. I cannot have my tablecloth soiled. That I cannot. Okay. I'm seeing some people saying that we should stop and jot. What is the problem emerging in our text? Everybody go ahead and jot on their paper. Uh, 
Okay, can someone share out what the problem is that's emerging in our text? Achata, you're unmuted, go. Oops. Achata, go. Oh. Um, I wrote that the grandfather's dropping everything and the wife is making him sit behind in the corner behind the oven. What do we guys think? Do you guys agree? Let's evaluate. Agree, disagree on your screen, please. Seeing some, okay, okay, some agree, some so so's. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. How would you characterize mom and the father? How would you describe them? Um, Tajani, you're on mute. No. Uh, I'll describe them as like um maybe like disrespectful or uh, like kind of. Yeah, just disrespectful. Yeah, tell us more. Why? I would call them disrespectful because they're making the the grandpa eat behind the um, oven, and and that's like a really dirty place, and no one should belong there. Awesome. Give let's give Tajani three claps. Nice job, Tajani. Okay, we're gonna keep reading. Let's keep going. The grandfather takes his wooden plate and goes to the seat in the corner behind the oven. His eyes are filled with tears. Come, little Hans, and finish your dinner. Bless me, what are you making, child? A wooden trough for you and father to eat out of when I grow big. The man and his wife look at each other, and there's a pause. He will treat us how we have treated father. To serve us right, Father, throw that window dish out of the window. I am ashamed of what I have done. Forgive me. Father, come back to the table. I too am ashamed. Forgive me, dear father. Okay. Do we have a solution in our story? Agree, disagree. Let's go ahead and pick up our pencils and capture it. Great, I see Maylene and Milan doing exactly what Mr. Smith has asked everybody to do. Great job, ladies. Max, you should have a pencil in your hand and you're jotting on a scrap piece of paper right now. Eva, I really like your setup today. I can see that you're working and following Mr. Smith's directions. Great job. Joey, I need to be able to see you working right now and not laying down. We're jotting down our ideas like Mr. Smith just asked. Okay, scholars, can someone share out what they jotted down? Vanessa, coming to you. Whoops, there you go. Sorry. <laughs> I almost had her. Oops. Uh-oh. Okay, Vanessa, sorry. I'm going to try to find you again. Uh, actually, I see a chew in front of me. A chew, you look ready. Go. Um, so I wrote, um, son helps them realize how yeah. rude they were to grand, yeah. um, to grandfather. Yeah. So they, so it, they invite him back to the table. What do we think? Agree, disagree. Awesome. And let's dive a little bit deeper. Can someone tell me specifically how do they realize, what action does the son do that causes them to realize? Okay, I'm going, I'm going to Lucas, Mr. Smith, go ahead. Okay. Um, since we have this text for a moment, um, my, what I said was like, a, because like the son made like a trough for, for his mom, for his mom and, dad to use when he gets bigger and like a trough is like what animals eat out of and they and then they notice like they were treating the grandfather like an animal ah that's awesome lucas great okay let's go ahead i'm gonna give everybody about two and a half minutes to write down their main idea job for this text pencils are moving the whole time ready set go
So, Ezariah, I see you have a thumbs up. I'd like for you to start jotting like Mr. Smith just asked the class to do. Go ahead and get started. Okay, great. Thank you. Way to hold yourself accountable. Dominic, great job. Jaden, looking good today. Mason, awesome. Elijah looking good too. Nice job, Robert. Keep it up. Okay, Janelle, can you slide your body over a little bit to the side and put your work in front of you so I can see that your pencil's moving? Thank you. Teachers, Ma Max, are you there? Is Max log on to this? I'm trying to find him. He is. Okay, he's, oh yeah. Is he in view? He needs to be in view. I just, yeah, okay. He's not in view, right? I can see. I'm looking. He wasn't earlier when I saw him. Okay, um, I'm gonna try to. Okay. No, he's not. All right, I'm just gonna Jupiter okay. that. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mia. Mia, you weren't in my breakout group earlier, so make sure that you stay on and go to my breakout group when Ms. Um, Thompson puts us there, okay? Thank you. Milan, okay. I don't see you either. Okay, scholars, we're coming back together. Yeah, just Jupiter for Milan. We're coming back together. Pencils are down. You're tracking the screen in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Everybody, Good job, Nathaniel. Everybody pick up your paper and can you please put your main idea jaw on the screen so we can take a look to see. Too close, Mason. Just back it up a little bit. Elijah, All put right. your main idea jaw up. I don't nice see job, it. Darren. Nice. Milan, excellent. Okay, Dominic. I'm gonna Alvinique, need to excellent. Back a little bit. Alvinique, nice, nice job, job being Isabella. flexible. Awesome. Okay. All right, papers are down. Let's quickly run through some of uh, our ideas and our main idea, and then we're going to move on to our, our, our outline together. Can someone share out their, what they had down for characters? And while our friends are sharing out, I want you to, to listen in to see if you had something similar uh, to what our friend has that they're sharing. Okay, can someone share out what they had, yeah. bit, what they had for characters? Let's go to Fatumata. Fatumata, get ready. Go. Um, the characters are grandfather and I described him as careless because he kept on like dropping things and wife and man were disrespectful and harsh and the problem was that grandfather oh not problem yet just hang on let's stop right there so the characters you said the grandpa is careless what do we guys think of that does everybody agree or disagree show me on your screen agree disagree I'm seeing okay Someone who disagrees, can you share out why you didn't use the word careless? Um, I'll go to Alvinique. Alvinique, go. I disagree with that because the grandfather isn't careless. It's just that he's old, so he drops things. What do you guys think? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking that, like, I'm not sure if it's fair to characterize him as, can we mute them? Yeah, I was trying to, and then they started bouncing around. Okay. I don't think it's fair, like, care the word careless describes someone who is just, like, showing absolutely, like, no kind of uh, carefulness about the way that they act. Whereas to Albanique's point, we know that grandfather is an old man, and he might not be able to kind of, like, control his like the way he is, his body and how he's acting. So I think that's fair, but I I think that maybe a better character trait for him might be fragile, um, which describes someone who's kind of like older. Um, but I, I definitely think uh, your the traits uh, that you gave for the, the, the mother and the father are spot on. Um, did you did give a trait to the, to the boy, Hans? Can someone give us a trait for Hans? Uh, Chloe, go. Okay. Let's I, my, thank you. Um, um, I'll describe. I'll, I'll describe Hans as he. He's very like. He's very like um, wise because he's he's telling he, he's like building stuff that probably when they get older 
Are they um when they get older they they're gonna eat up because because they're gonna eat out of wooden chops because they're cheating and uh um grandpa like an animal so okay. when they drop things mm-hmm. yeah then the and put him behind the oven okay vanessa is showing us so so vanessa go ahead and share out respond to her please oh, oh. i got her yeah um, i say i say so so is because is because i think he's not actually wise because he didn't actually like do something that was clever but he made his parents um get get the grandfather back to the table so So i'll call him like a copier Uh, i'll call him like a a copier because we know that like our siblings they copy us when we do something so the um, the son copied what the parents did so that when he grows up, he will like... Oh. Okay, okay. I'm going to have someone respond to you. Darren, respond to you. Go ahead. Um, I, dis- I disagree on when you said, um, when you said the copycat. I think he was just trying to make, um, make the grandpa just go, make the grandfather go back to the table. So how would you describe him based off that motivation? Helpful. Good. Okay, we're gonna stop there. So we're gonna take what Darren just said, and I think uh, I think when you're thinking, Vanessa, about the characterizing, thinking about like what is motivating our character to do that. And to Darren's point, what's motivating little Hans to do that is he wants his grandfather to to feel better based off the way that the parents were treating him. So when you guys are characterizing characters, make sure that you're taking their most important action and thinking about their motivation. Okay. Um, real quick, can someone talk to us about the problem in this text? Promise, can you talk to us about the problem in this text? Go. Oh, we can't hear her. Okay. Never mind. Promise. Oh yeah, her her audio doesn't work. It has not. Oh, been. okay. It was I thought it was working yesterday. No. No. No, I've never okay. gotten it. Sorry, I promise. Do you have a problem down? Thumbs up if you do. On the screen. Vanessa, okay. I know you probably have a question about that. I'll get to you later to help clarify for you, okay? Put your hand down um let's come to somebody else for the problem zara go i think that the problem i think that the problem is that um when grandfather spells something the the wife and the man were making him seem to were making him feel like he was ashamed of him dropping something or making a mistake what do you guys think? Agree, disagree on your screen. Yeah? Awesome. That was great. Give her three claps. Okay, can someone tell us about the solution real quick, please? Baby on go. The solution is that hands that the solution is that hands he made he made a wooden trout and the man and wife realized that they were treating that he was going to treat them like they treated his, the, their father. So they changed their mind and told him and told him to throw the wooden dish out the window and come back to the table. Let's evaluate. Show me on your screen. Evaluate. Agree, disagree. Make sure it's right on the camera because I can't see some of your agree or disagree signs. Okay. Mostly agree. Awesome. Nice job. Uh, lesson learned real quick. Nathaniel sitting still. I'm going Adriel, go. Oh, were you going to call on Nathaniel? I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Go ahead. Adriel, I unmuted you. Okay. My lesson learned was that, um, that some things, hello? Oh. Okay, let's go to another scholar. Let's go to Lewis. Lewis, do you look ready? Go. My lesson learned was that you should treat others the way you want to be treated. And I and I said that because from from the problem they How'd you go? from the problem the the mother and and the father were were 
were making the 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 grand the grandfather feel ashamed of himself and like making making him eat from 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 a wooden a wooden dish and 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 then the the son help the son help, help the father and the mother understand how they were treating the grandfather okay excellent okay. elijah go to the bathroom real quick and come back okay hurry up elijah go quick and come back thank you um okay guys we're now going to move on to our planning our uh, extended responses uh teachers i'm going to kind of switch my screen so i can do the writing on it because i can't yep. do the writing on the pdf so i'm going to do stop share come back together let me just pull it up on um on the excuse me on the website and then i can do the annotating on there um can everybody flip to the flip to the the prompt page if you have it and we're going to go ahead and we're going to read our prompts for today remote learning can I have somebody read it while you're doing that, Mr. Smith? Yeah, absolutely. All right, okay, Yamulet, you look ready. Um, I'm going to unmute you. Could you please read the prompt for us today? Uh oh, why can't I unmute her? Okay, go ahead. In the story, the old man and his grandson, little Hans, little Hans, changed changes his family. What does little Hans do that changes his family? Why does he do it? What effects does this have on his mother and father and grandfather? Awesome. Thank you. Okay, I have the screen, so I'm going to do the shared screen again. Okay. Thank you, uh, Yamalette. Thank you, Yamalette. Uh, okay, here, this one. And then... Okay. There oh, we go. Yeah. I'm not okay. sure. Okay, but I, I don't think it's I can. It's in a PDF. So, yeah. Mr. Smith, if yeah. you. Oh. Could I copy it to the whiteboard or? Uh, I guess yeah. no, it's probably not going to work. Okay. Um, why, Mr. Don't Smith, you... why don't you plan on the whiteboard and the scholars will know that that's what yeah. they think oh, okay, looking cool. at their papers. Okay, yeah. cool. Okay. So, um, I'm going to. You gonna know where use... the whiteboard is? Yeah, I have to stop okay. sharing, correct? Yeah, stop yeah. share. Okay. Go down to the uh, whiteboard. Yeah. It's down on the right. Um, the whiteboard. Share screen. Share whiteboard. Screen. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, right here. Okay. The second one in. Okay, cool. Um, share screen. Wipe. Select a window or application. No, it's not what I want. Okay, hold on. I'm sorry. I can do it if you want to talk through it, Mr. Smith. Yeah, because it's not come the uh, it's only allowing me to share my computer browser or my iPhone computer. Okay. I don't know why it's doing that. Yeah, okay. maybe Miss Sanova, maybe you could do it. Yeah. Oh wait, advanced uh -huh. sharing. Okay, I'm sharing my screen. Oh yes, yeah, I can. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys. So. Is it big enough? Yeah. So let's take a look at okay. our first question. Uh, this is gonna be kind of hard because I'm gonna have to show the text to underline the evidence. Um, okay. So our first question is what describe what little Hans does everybody pick up your pencil and I want you to go ahead and draft an idea on your paper for that first body paragraph what does little Hans do describe what little Hans does Thank you, you Miss. Thank you, Miss Anova. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, no problem. And if you have the text in front of you, after you draft your idea, 
you can go back and underline your two pieces of evidence. For those of you who don't have the text in front of you, I just want you to jot down uh, in your own words, what are two things from the details from the text that you remember that he does, that little Hans does. Let's take about one more minute. Okay, let's come back together in 30 seconds. So pencil moving Zara, excellent urgency and focus. Promise you have something down? Yeah, okay. Excellent, uh, Dominic, Achu, Chloe, Azariah, you guys are looking excellent. I just love how studious you guys are. You know, nice job. Okay, let's come back together. Pencils down, tracking the screen in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. I have Talia's eyes, Brandon's looking, Vanessa, excellent. Okay, I want someone to share out what they wrote for their claim for this question. Let's come to... Bernie, go ahead, Bernie. For what I put was, for my claim, I put little Hans teaches his mom and dad what they did to grandpa. And yeah. Little Hans teaches mom and dad what they did to grandpa. Okay, can we evaluate everybody on the screen? Agree, disagree. I'm seeing some so so some okay, Fatumata, talk. Um that um I say so so because you're kinda of missing the um like what little hands is really doing just by teaching. Um that he, you should say that little hands teaches his mom and dad by um, making a wooden ball to make um his parents think think um their mistake of what they um did. What do we think? What do we think? Fatima. Yeah. All right, that was excellent, Fatimata. Fatimata, you did you just and Bernie, you guys just responded to one another. And you gave her great feedback. And I think that that's absolutely correct. We need to make it a little bit more specific about what the action that he actually did was. So let's give Bernie and Fatu Mata three claps for working together. Three claps. Janelle, are you with us? Okay, can you sit up for me? Thanks. Okay, let's now look at our uh i'm not gonna have the text in front of us so that's fine let's just work on our claims today and then we'll we'll find okay. the evidence after yep. let's, let's look at um our second question our second question second body paragraph is explain why he does it explain why he does it everybody two minutes to draft down your claim if you have your text you're going to underline two pieces of evidence if you don't you can paraphrase your evidence in your own words go two minutes go explain why little hans does it Fatumata, excellent urgency iviani kimura chada you guys look excellent awesome Dominic, Lucas, Achu, Azariah, Chloe. You guys look so good. Mag looks really great. Haley looking good. Hey, I see Lucas is ready. He gave us a thumbs up. Robert as well, looking good, everybody. Okay. 
Okay, let's come back together. Can someone share out their claim for um, what they had down for their claim for this question? Let's do Haley. I got it. Okay. Haley, go ahead. Oops. You just have to give her a minute because I okay. think her audio is. Yeah, hers weird. just skips and like, yeah, yeah. But it comes, it always comes in. Yeah. Go ahead, Haley. Maybe not. This Maybe one. not. Yeah. Okay, let's go to somebody else. Um, we can go to Maylene. Okay. Go. I got her. Watch it. So oh, I, said, I, just, I will get another phone call. If I start getting those phone calls. Okay. Let's, yep. Okay. Um, Isabella, go. Um, my claim was he did that to help his family understand why grandfather shouldn't 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 be like that. What do we guys think? Agree, disagree. Yeah, that's excellent. Nice job. Um Okay, let's go on and do our claim for our last body paragraph. Our last body paragraph is describe the effect his actions have on his mother, father, and grandfather. Go ahead, two minutes, jot down your claim. And if you have the text, underline your two pieces of evidence. If you don't, go ahead and paraphrase your evidence down below. Describe the effect his actions have on his uh, father, mother, and grandmother. Uh, sorry, father, mother, grandfather. Okay, let's come back together. Pencils down, tracking the screen in five, four, three. Mm, Darren's there, love to see it. Two, one, zero. So this question is a little tricky if you didn't get the, it, the question asked the effects on mother, father, but also grandfather. So can someone talk to us about the effects on mother and father first in their claim? Going to Milan. The effect on the mother and father because little Hans made them realize that they have been treating him the wrong way. So they are giving him another chance. What do we think, guys? Agree, disagree. Robert, Lewis, agree, disagree. Yeah, Milan, that was excellent. Give her three claps. <clears throat> yes, can she say it one more time? Yeah, I'm unmuting her. Go ahead, Milan. I said that the mother and father realized that they've been treating him the wrong way because little Hans is gonna do the same thing to them when they are older, just like grandfather. Excellent. Awesome, Lewis gave you a clap, nice job. <laughs> okay, so let's um, talk about the effect on the grandfather. What effect does it have on grandfather? Joey, oh rat, I unmuted Elijah. Hold on. Oh, wait, oh, okay. Joey, go. The effect. He was muted. Joey's unmuted. Go ahead, Joey. 
Where is Joey? Um, oh, he's unmuted right now. I'm looking at it. Or maybe not. Joey? Okay, that's not working. We're calling on somebody else. Okay. Um, All right, let's Haley. do Haley. Oh, okay. Go, Haley. Okay. I'm zero for two right now. Someone else can try. Okay, let's do Nathaniel George. Ready? Go ahead, Nathaniel. Okay, I'm ready. I cannot wait. Uh, I'm on. Um, I cannot hear nothing. I cannot hear nothing. You can't hear anything? <laughs> no, okay. like it's glitching. Okay. It might be just the internet. Okay. Just hang in there. Uh, let's do Vanessa. Go ahead. I think... I think the effect that Little Hands did for his grandfather is that he made he made his parents do like he made his parents um like like get get remember what they did and realize your mistake and so that they could bring grandfather grandfather back to the table. So that last part is exactly what we're looking for, right? That effect on the grandfather, bringing him back to the table. Absolutely. Giving us the three claps. Awesome, guys. Okay. Good job, scholars. Um, let's see. We have about five minutes. What I want you to do for five minutes is I want you to get body paragraph one done. Okay. So pick up your pencil. It's a short, it's exactly, remember we know that our body paragraphs are many, they're basically short responses. So you have five minutes to write down one full paragraph, six sentences for body paragraph one. Pencils up, moving the entire time, go. Darren's pencil's already in his hand. He's moving with urgency. Jaden, can you wait five minutes for lunchtime? Thank you. No, you can't wait five minutes, then go. But if you can wait, wait. Your question? Clea, go. Clea, go. What's your question? We can't hear you. Do we have to write an introduction? No, just work on the first paragraph right now that I circled on the screen. Little Han teaches mom and dad by making a wooden bowl to teach his parents to think about what they did to grandpa. Go ahead and do that now. Dominic's pencil is moving. He's focused. Excellent. Mason, love it. Good. I love a Mason shout out. <laughs> Joey, I want to see you working. Right now, it looks like your face is on the screen. I want to see your pencil moving, writing your short response right now. Excellent. Thank you for picking up and making a good choice. Angelina, it doesn't look like you're moving your hands right now. Thank you. Haley, try to say something. Haley, it looked like you were trying to test out your audio. Do you want to try to say something really quick? Go ahead. Mm, I think she's still muted. I am. It's okay Darren. for now, Haley. We'll figure it out when we come back after lunch. Darren, let's keep moving that pencil, please. Maylene, Isabella's going see back to the text. Dominic's going back to the text. Azariah, wait five minutes, please. Thank you. Move your pencil. Jahad, Eva, Tajani, Jakai, I can't see your screens. They need to be on. Jahad, can you stop making that face, please? Max, can you make sure we can see you? Thank you. Uh, coming to you, Bernadette? No, not Bernadette. Who is that? Eileen, stop moving the camera. Okay, scholars. We're going to come back together before we break for lunch. So everybody put your pencil down. Track me in Scholar. Jahad, not 